Welcome again to Dubro 101. We're back in my shop and today we're here to talk about hinges and we're just going to get right into it and start making things bend. So for your model aircraft, Dubro offers three options for you. There are heavy duty hinges as well as regular nylon hinges as well as electroflyer tape. Uh, depending on the size of your model, you're going to want to select which one is appropriate for yours. Uh, the heavy duty hinges are geared more toward quarter scale and larger airplanes, uh, whereas the nylon hinges are for anything below that. But it gets to a certain point where you're in park flyer territory where you're working with foam airplanes and the electric flyer hinge tape will work just fine for those. So the electric flyer hinge tape is really just that. It's uh, just a basic roll of tape in a bag that you can open. It's uh, pretty well uh, waterproof or water resistant rather, but you can apply it and we'll get to that in a minute and I'll show you how to use that. The heavy duty hinges and the nylon hinges are very similar in style. The heavy duty hinges come in two pieces that you put together and assemble with a single cotter pin. My recommendation is that you do not bend the cotter pin, the end of the cotter pin, uh, until you are ready to fully assemble your control surface. The reason for that is you can install the hinge and go in and out and make sure that everything is positioned properly and glue before you affix the control surface. And that includes painting. So you can either use a cotter pin to do that. The alternative is that you can use a single piece of wire that is, the, according to the instructions, 0 .047 inches in diameter. What you can do with this wire is when you have an entire control surface, you can send this wire down through all of the hinges and be able to easily service your control surface when needed. And by having the rod go between three or even four hinges, the friction is going to keep it together. Now in terms of installing each of these hinges, it's essentially the same for both. They both have holes and they're both made of the roughly the same plastic. So I'll just go over one use and you can apply that to installation of both types of hinges. You see a few items here that are important for the installation of the hinge, so we're going to go over things one thing at a time as we go through the process of the installation. I have one piece of wood that has previously been slotted using the Dubro slotting kit. If you need a reference for using that tool or kit, uh, be sure to check out the link. I also have a corresponding piece of wood that is meant to simulate the control surface. So we have the flat piece that is the airplane or the model itself and the skinny piece which is the control surface. An additional thing that you're going to want to do before you do any gluing or installation is you want to apply some sort of lubricant to the hinge. Now you don't need a whole lot, it just takes a drop or two, but the purpose of the lubrication is not to get the hinge to move more freely, but rather to protect the bending part from being glued in one specific position. Now I have a Teflon lubricant here, but you can also use standard 3-in-1 household oil. Some people have also used Vaseline. So generally speaking, after you apply your lubrication to your hinge, rather than just putting it straight in, I use some sandpaper and I rough up the surface of the front and the back of the hinge as well as both sides of the hinge. This creates a more mechanical bond, not just a chemical bond, when you insert and glue. From there, I insert my hinge into the control surface or the model itself first, it doesn't matter, and then I use my thin CA with the straw attachment to squirt thin CA into the wood on both sides and allow it to wick in. Alternatively, you can line up your hinge on the outside and using a T-pin you can create holes through the wood and then insert 
your hinge and again using your straw attachment you can insert glue through those holes. From here you simply repeat the process as you attach the, the control surface or the model to the control surface. Once those are glued you should have an operational control surface. If you do have a cotter pin on the heavy duty hinges you can remove that and remove the entire control surface and make sure you save those cotter pins for later. You'll need them. The cotter pin once inserted and ready for final installation the end of it can be bent using a razor that goes in between the two tanes and then you simply need to bend just one of them. That will prevent the cotter pin from coming out and still allow easy deflection. The electric flyer hinge tape is uh, a really grateful tool as I said before for having in your field box in this particular model the glue on the CA hinges that I had it didn't hold very well. Now this is a foam core airplane so I don't want to mislead you the foam simply ripped out of the foam. Now the, I've been able to make other repairs to the airplane, but I thought I'd save this one just for you guys here today. We start off by making sure that the surface is clean, which I've done previously. I'm just using a little bit of Windex here. A piece of tape that's long enough, but not too long is my preference. Some people prefer to do a piece of tape that is too long and trim from there. I don't really see a need. There's not entirely a critical need for having the entire control surface taped down. But the vast majority of it taped down will do just fine. I start by applying the tape only to the trailing edge of the stabilizer or wing or wherever the surface is. And from there, I'm back to using my slotting tool here and I push the tape down into the groove. Notice how I'm not using the hook end here, I'm using the rounded back side of it. And as you do it gently over a couple of passes, it pushes it down. And you can smooth it onto your beveled edge. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and do the exact same thing on the bottom side. Not entirely needed, but that's my general preference. So checking my secure control surface after the application, I'm confident that that will hold. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of the airplane just so that I don't have to worry about the other control surface coming off because I use the exact same gluing process over there just as a safeguard. Well everyone that's really all there is to it. I'm excited that I was able to share some time with you in my shop today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss another installment of Dubro 101.